time for a live edition of Calderwood's Coop. Tim Calderwood joined by Frank Fisher, a segment I like to call Getting to Know You, Frank, so I hope you're excited. Sure Frank, uh, first let's talk about what, what brought you to Schaumburg. Um, I uh, was kind of looking for a place to play. I was with the Reds for four years, the Cincinnati Reds organization, and uh, this last spring training, um, they didn't have a spot for me, and so I, uh, I wasn't ready to stop playing yet, and so I you know, sent some emails out, made some calls to some different leagues around uh, around the country, and Jamie got back to me pretty quickly and, and said he had a spot, so I jumped on. Was it weird to go through spring training kind of twice, basically? No, I mean, you know, I I, I learned uh, in the last few years, you know, of, of not playing every day. How you know about why I really want to play? And it's it's less about. You know, just going through the motions, it's less about kind of getting somewhere. It's more about just playing. And once I kind of found that, you know, a spring training is its just more time to play baseball. So it was all good. It was fun to come out and meet some guys. And, uh, you know, it's a, the spring training is a good time because we get up early. Everybody's in it together. And it's a, it's a good way to get to know your team. So so I take it you're pretty excited then to be playing on a daily basis. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, the, best, it's the best thing ever. How about your teammates? You getting along with everybody in the clubhouse? Yeah, we have one of the better clubhouse dynamics that I've been a part of and uh, especially in professional baseball I think everybody really gets along and you know we can joke with each other you know if people screw up it's not a big deal we, we all kind of can learn from each other and you know it's been it's been a lot of fun we got some really good guys the coaching staff's awesome we keep it light and uh, everybody's really on the same page in terms of doing little things to try and win we could pick each other up and uh, it's been really good. So I would guess then you're not at all surprised in the way the first part of the season has worked out for the team. No, not at all. I mean, I, I knew coming in when we were in spring training and how everybody got along and just kind of the attitude of how people got their work in and guys coming early work and getting their stuff done without having to be told to do it. Um, that's always a pretty good recipe for, for getting wins. It doesn't always go our way, but, you know, we, we have a pretty good understanding of, you know, when you get to this level where everybody's, you know, it's professional baseball, everybody knows what they're doing, it comes down to doing the little things, you know, base running, making plays, making pitches. And, uh, you know, you, you've seen it. I mean, there are games where we don't, and we lose those games. There are games when we do, and we find a way to win. So, you know, when that when there's that understanding and everybody understands it, and guys pick each other up if there's a screw-up, you know, that's that's kind of what we expect. And when we play our game, we expect that we're going to be in a good position to win. You've been moved around a little bit throughout your playing career as well, third, short, second. I understand you've even had some catching underneath your belt a little bit. Do you feel most comfortable at third base? Yeah, actually, I, I didn't play third um, until sophomore year of college. I actually lied to my coach and said that I, he asked me if I'd played there. I played second and shortstop growing up. I was always real small. And then in college, our third baseman had some problems, and our coach asked me if I'd played there. And I said, oh, yeah, I played there all summer. And I uh, just kind of got thrown into it and then never really left. I got drafted as a third baseman with the Reds. And then as the years went on, you know, you need to be able to play anywhere, just kind of survive. So in my last year with the Reds, you know, the last year and a half about, I started learning how to catch just to kind of add something else to be productive and help out and catch bullpens and get into some games sometimes. And, you know, my, my whole goal in playing is to try and be as well-rounded as I can be. And uh, I'd say I'm most comfortable at third. I think it's the most fun in terms of reaction. But... You know, be, no, being able to know what goes on at each spot, know what a catcher's going through because I've done it, know what an outfielder's going through because I've done it, it, it really just kind of helps an overall understanding of, of the game. Uh -huh.